What's up Amazon sellers, summer is coming and this is a great opportunity for you to start selling a new range of products during the summer period on Amazon. It's a great opportunity to add some new lines into your inventory that's going to help you scale and grow and make extra money during the summer period. So today, don't worry, we're going to go through all about this, what you need to think about and what you need to look out for when looking for products to sell on Amazon during summer. Stay tuned. Hi guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and quite simply, I've been an Amazon seller now for four years. Right now, I'm on a mission to do one million pounds by the end of 2021. And what I'll do is I'll drop a link to a video up there, which I talk about my entire journey and how I'm getting on. So check that out, it's probably gonna help you. But enough about me, let's talk about the content today. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna talk about number one, what are seasonal products? Number two, I'm going to talk about pros and cons behind seasonal products. Number three, I'm going to talk about why you should think about sourcing summer related products. Number four, I'm going to talk to you about the best products to be sourcing during summer on Amazon. Number five, I'm going to talk to you about how to actually analyze deals to understand what you need to know for a sourcing products on Amazon during summer. And then finally, number six, I'm going to share some top tips with you about sourcing products for the summer period. Let's get started. Right, okay, so first things first, what are seasonal products? Well, quite simply, they are exactly as they say on the tin. They are products which have a increase in sales during certain seasons, hence why they're called seasonal products. Now, quite simply, I could give you the example of maybe Christmas products, Christmas gifts, advent calendars, or maybe like Valentine's Day products. They will be considered seasonal. They come in season once a year during Valentine's Day. Halloween, for example, is another one. Now, for us right now, we're talking about summer products. Products are going to be great to sell during the summer period, and that is the seasonal products that we are talking about. Okay, so that leads me quite nicely onto the pros and cons of seasonal products. Let's first of all go through the pros. Okay, first things first on the pros. Number one, they are a great opportunity to increase your sales. Now, if I just give you the simple idea of Christmas, we generally buy more stock, different types of stock, during the Christmas period. Why? Because during that period, sales ramp up. Exactly the same if you are looking to, if you're a seller of chocolates during, should we say, the Valentine's Day period, especially if you're doing something maybe around love, you'll probably see your sales increase. Those certain seasons have a real impact on your sales. Now, number two, there is less competition generally on these products. Why? Because most sellers generally like to keep products in their inventory that they can sell all year round. They stay away from the, the nature of seasonal products. And as a result, you generally see less competition on these listings. So it's a great advantage for you, meaning you can make more sales. Now that leads me quite nicely onto the cons. So first things first about the cons, just by the very nature of it, it's a seasonal product. It's quite hard to get accurate sales estimations. Now, quite simply, what does this mean? Well, the sales are gonna ramp up and then they're gonna ramp down again. So predicting how much you're gonna sell during that period is gonna be really crucial to ensure that you don't have any stock left over. So predicting those sales is gonna be really, really key. Now, that leads me quite nicely on to the second part of the cons. Quite simply, if you make the wrong prediction and you buy too much, what happens? Well, you've got the inventory left in your stock and when's the next time you can clear it out? Pretty much in a year's time. So if you get it wrong with stock, it can mean you're holding inventory for a long period of time or doing some really deep discounting. Now, quick question for you guys. I'm talking about products to sell in summer. I'm interested to know what products are you thinking about maybe you might be selling in summer? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me your ideas. Maybe you're thinking of something that I haven't even thought of. Okay, that leads me on to number three, why you should think about sourcing seasonal products such as summer products. Well, quite simply is that people are gonna be looking for these products. We know that during certain seasons, people are looking for certain types of products. So that means you're gonna get more customers coming to your Amazon store to buy products. Quite simply, they're looking for the products that you are selling. Obviously, then you're gonna increase sales. Now, I just talked about it a moment ago. If you get the right products, what's gonna happen? Well, your sales are gonna go up. So top tip there, get the right products. You're gonna really be increasing those sales. Now, the third and final one about why you should sell, quite simply, is for the fact that you're probably gonna have less competition and that means you can make more sales and generally command a higher price because there's less competition on the Amazon marketplace driving your profits down. 
Okay, so that leads me quite nicely onto number four, which is about the best products to sell during the summer period. Now, quite simply, what I'm not gonna do is give you all the exact products. Why? Because if I gave you the exact products, which might be the best products, everyone's gonna jump on them. But what I want you to think about is something slightly different. Probably get a pen and paper, start drawing out all the things, all the activities that you do during summer, and then start brainstorming what you need during that period. Now, the reason why I say this is because there are thousands, tens of thousands of products that will sell during the summer period, and you only need a couple of them to make lots of money for you selling on the Amazon marketplace. Now, if I just give you an idea of some things to think about, which is gonna help you during that period, it's gonna allow you to brainstorm some of these ideas that you can then go out and source for. So a couple of things you might think about when you're doing this brainstorming session are quite simply, just think of those activities. And I mentioned it before. So even things like, you know, people are gonna be out in their back gardens, they're gonna be doing sporting activities out there. Maybe they're gonna be doing gardening. Maybe they're gonna be, I don't know, drinking like pins o'clock in the UK. We love, you know, something around that, maybe all the, the, the drinking material or that. Now, quite simply, also as well, where are you gonna go? Well, you've got things like people are gonna go to the beach, they're gonna go out to nature walks, what kind of equipment are they gonna need? And if I just throw some things out there to give you some ideas, obviously during the summer, sun protection factor, that's gonna be an important one selling. You can resell them, lots of suppliers do like two for one offers on that and you can resell on Amazon, maybe put them into bundles. And that's a really good thing, talking about bundles. Number two, things like, I don't know, going to the beach, uh, beachwear, um, rubber dinghies, it might be um, sandcastle making equipment, you know, beach um, umbrellas, windbreaks, uh, back garden kiddie pools, even things like the heat, mini fans. Um, what else are we talking about? You know, people might go biking, climbing, gardening, we talked about that before, football, um, even just like keeping healthy, like buying juices if they want to change their diets. There is so much during the summer period that is generally based around the weather that's going to have an impact on people's activities, what they do and what they need. So being prepared for that is going to be super key. So do that brainstorming session. That's going to really help you identify some great products. Okay, I just want to take a moment to say maybe you are looking for deals, maybe you're struggling for time, or maybe you're struggling to even get started because you're gated on everything. What can I recommend for you, whether you're looking for summer products or even just getting started on Amazon? Have a look at Fast Track FBA Leads. This is a service that I created whereby we've got a team of VAs sourcing for both the UK and the USA to help find deals that you can buy low and resell high for profit in Amazon. What do we do? Seven days a week, we're sourcing for arbitrage deals. And quite simply, we put them onto our web application. You can view every single deal that you want, looking at all the deal stats. And when you're ready, you can simply unlock those deals for tokens and then go to the supplier and the Amazon link buy them low from the supplier and resell on Amazon and help make the profits and more revenue for you in your Amazon business. If you want to know more, have a look down below. I will drop a link to Fast Track FBA Leads down there. Okay, so what I want to do now is go through how to source the summer deals. Quite simply, what I'm going to do is go through to a product or have a look at a range of products that we could look at on the Amazon marketplace and show you what you need to be looking at to see if it is a seasonal product and what you need to be analyzing in that deal analysis to make sure that you're making the right buying decisions. Let's jump on the computer now and look through that. Okay, so I've just jumped into Amazon and I've searched for Rubber Dinghy. It's one of the products I talked about earlier. Now, what I'm gonna do is jump into one of these products and look at the deal analysis side of it. And in particular, what am I looking for? I'm looking at Keeper. I'm really trying to understand what's gone on with the history of the product and if it's seasonal or if it's not and what I can understand from that, that graph. Let's jump on it now and have a look. Okay, so let's just jump into this first product here. And if you want to know, if you're looking here, I've got a Chrome extension installed down here called Amazon DS QuickView, which helps me just understand more about the products. Now, when I overview on the bottom right, I'm getting keeper graphs, so I can see that as well. But let's now have a look at this product. Okay, so what we've just done now is just loaded up the product. Now, I'm probably not going to go straight into the analysis of profit and ROI like you might do for a typical deal analysis. For these types of products, the first thing I want to do is go down to the Keeper chart. Why? Because I want to get a feel for the history of the product and what's happened. So let's scroll down now. So come down now and I'm into this Keeper chart here. Now, what I'll do is I'll kind of zoom in to make it a bit easier for you. And quite simply, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump out to all. I want to have a look at all time. And what I'm really looking at is quite simply that green line, that sales rank going up and down, up and down. So 
Let's just zoom into that period. And what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot. Okay, so I've just grabbed the screenshot now. Now, what I'm really looking for is this green line. If I kind of draw a line the best fit, what you can see is it's kind of doing this. Well, what does that tell me? Well, if you know anything about sales rank, the generally the lower the sales rank, the faster the product is selling. So what can we see is during these periods down here, so let's call it from here to here, and then from here to here, this is selling really, really well. And then outside of that, so these periods up here, up here, and up here, the winter months, not selling so well. So I can certainly see how that re repetition of that trend in the sales rank is telling me this product is a seasonal product. I could have probably guessed that. But what I'm really interested in is understanding about when does the season start and when does the season end? That's the important point. So quite simply, what I'm looking at here is to say potentially it's gonna start around about April here. And again, probably maybe a little bit later, April, May around here. And it's probably gonna be finishing October. I'm just gonna guess here, you can start to see this goes up around October. So I'd probably say I've got between about May and October. I've got to get my stock cleared by October, but May is about when it starts. So this is that product. Now, the other thing I might do, if I kind of come back, is to say what I'm going to be looking at is what's the average sales rank during that period. So from here to here, and then here to here. Why? Because if I can zoom in, for example, if this is a product that I want to source, if I zoom in just during these periods, if I kind of what I'm looking at is this line on the right. I'm gonna literally try and draw a line of best fit in my head and say, I think perhaps maybe this is 1,500. If we say 1,500, it's potentially gonna get way faster, maybe even a thousand. That's average sales rank during that period. It's gonna be a thousand. And then if it's a thousand, what I can then do is jump over to the Jungle Scout free sales estimator. And if you wanna know how to get here, go to Jungle Scout and then go to resources sales estimator and I can go quite simply 1,500 for example marketplace UK and what category are we in category is sports sports and outdoor let's grab that sports and outdoor estimate sales so that's saying that's selling 630 products every single month pretty much on average during that period we highlighted here so from about the 1st of April through to about the end of August, 630, if not more, because it dips down even lower. And as you dip down lower, sales are going to really ramp up. So great opportunity there to spot and understand how many sales, what time it starts, when it finishes, and obviously how many you might need to buy. So certainly a top tip there, help you find and understand those seasonal products. So you just saw there that I went through a bit of keeper analysis. And the one thing which I'll say is keeper analysis is the fundamental part of understanding if you're buying a good deal or if you're not. Now, if you want to know more, do watch my keeper training video up there. It's a three part mini series. It's going to really help you out understanding how to analyze those graphs. Watch that up there. OK, so let's jump on some top tips about seasonal products, especially summer seasonal products. Number one, do your research. You saw me doing it a second ago, jumping into the keeper chart, understanding when to start when to stop and what the seasonal nature of that product is. Do that research. Number two, expect it to cost money. And what do I mean by that? Well, quite simply, you're going to have to buy a lot of stock initially to be able to manage that stock over the course of the selling period, i.e. the season. You're going to have to front load, purchase a lot of stock, and then it's going to sell out at very good volumes later on during the seasonal period. There's not going to be an opportunity to buy a seasonal product again in August. You're going to have to buy it all early. That leads me quite nicely onto number three, have enough inventory. Do that forecasting like we just did, understand the listing sales a month, divide it by the number of sellers, and then work out how much stock you're gonna to have to buy. Also as well, by the very nature of it, your suppliers are generally not gonna hold stock later. So buy big to start with. Number four, I really recommend actually building a budget. I talked about spending a lot of money initially and then allowing that to come back in over time. If you budget that, that's gonna really give you confidence and certainty of what's happening. Whereas a lot of people buy and think they should be making sales straight away. If you've made a plan, a budget, you know exactly if you're going according to plan or according to budget and you can act accordingly. So make a budget. And then I think finally, number five, know when to stop buying and when you probably need to get out of your position, i.e. sell that stock through. Quite simply, we saw it on the graph. When does the season change? When does the sell ramp down? That's when you need to get out. So 
know when to stop buying. Okay, what I will say is if you are still looking at selling more products on Amazon and want to know more, I'll drop a link to a video around here of the four best selling categories on Amazon that's going to help grow your business. Hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you want to see more like this, hit that subscribe button. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.